Welcome to The Bourbon Jerk. Thanks for the click. We are a brand new channel, so why don't you help us out by clicking on the like and subscribe. Today we've got two cask strength wheat whiskeys from right here in Michigan. We've got Journeyman Distilleries, Corsets, Whips, and Whiskey, Traverse City Whiskey Companies, Straight Wheat Whiskey Bottled at Cask Strength. I purchased both of these over the past few months, and after trying them, I realized just how much they have in common. It only seemed to make sense to try them side by side to see how they match up. Journeyman is out of Three Oaks, Michigan. If you're in Michigan, it's right around here. Corsets, Whips, and Whiskey is distilled from 100% organic Michigan wheat. It's bottled at cask strength. This particular bottle comes in at 117 proof. It is non-age stated. I actually purchased this particular bottle when we were on a family vacation last month. Uh, by the way, if you're ever out in that particular neck of the woods, I would definitely suggest stopping by Journey. Their facility is really cool. It occupies this old manufacturing building that's been there for well over 100 years. It's got an excellent restaurant attached to it, a kick-ass bar, and a really cool uh, area of store with all their merch. Just a really cool place to check out. So what got my attention on this bottle is that it won the Ascot Award for 2022 and 2023 as best overall whiskey. I had to check that out. Traverse City Whiskey Company, they're up in northern Michigan, somewhere around here-ish. While the Corsets is 100% wheat, the Traverse City is 95% wheat and 5% malted barley. It's got a five-year age statement and it's also bottled at cask strength. This particular bottle is a single barrel that was picked by Justin's House of Bourbon and this one comes in at 114.8 proof. Let's give these a rip. First the Journeyman on the nose. Subtle caramel, toasted marshmallow, light oak. Definitely not what you would call overpowering. And the palate. Liquid butterscotch, melted caramel, Really glides across the palate. Nice viscosity. Now for the Traverse City. On the nose. Faint butterscotch, brown sugar, vanilla, Maybe some nuttiness there. Like a caramel sundae. Hey, wait, does that make this a fat guy whiskey? <laughs> On the palate, a lot of those same notes carry through to the palate. Kind of creamy. On the finish, the finish I would say is bold and spicy. Got a little bit of cinnamon, lingering, building a little bit. Really nice. So, which one is better? I don't know, this is a virtual dead heat. There's so much similarity between these two whiskeys. If I had to give the edge to one or the other, I'm probably gonna give the nod to the Traverse City. On the Jerkometer, these are both gonna come in at legit. Have you guys tried these yet? Did you like one better than the other? Let me know in the comments below. And in the meantime, stay jerky.